Hey everybody, welcome back to Home Studio Pro. This time around, I want to introduce you to what I think is the ultimate soundboard. It's a piece of software called Farago. I picked it up several years ago. It works on the Mac. It works quite well. So without further delay, let's just get into the demo. Okay, here we go. Broadcasting live, live. and worldwide, oh, yeah. here's Brody Brazil. That's quite often how I start a live stream. Now that piece of audio is played off the soundboard. I can throw in some applause. I can take it away real fast. If the crowd didn't like it, oh, come on. That's really, really, it's really sad. Now I was doing hard cuts there. I can fade everything out though too. I can fade one out, I can fade all of them out. I really like the way that Farago is set up here. It lets me drag and drop simple audio clips of a different variety, WAV files, uh, MP3s, just Apple audio files, sort of the AIFF files, drag anything into this and it will play. And then it also gives me the control here of having a volume A and a volume B. So if one is too loud, I could switch it to the volume B and you can see how it's at 40% instead of 80%. I guess I could also give you kind of a run through of, of different sound effects that I play here. I mean, there's a laugh track, a bell dinging, some other things that get thrown under the bus, drum roll, a rim shot, plug your ears, this one's loud. Sorry about that. Uh, should have given you more warning, shouldn't I have? Uh, but, oh, I should also explain this. I'm working right now on a stream deck with a bunch of different pages. And all I've done is program uh, hotkeys, right? So the way it works is that when I push a button on the stream deck, it's like saying, oh, the letter J. And then on Farago, the letter J, oops, corresponds to, uh, corresponds to a, a sound effect that's being played. So let me go back to this here real quick. So, for example, you know, I could also, the, the casino sound effect, that's on my keyboard M. Right? There's a Vegas casino. If I hit M, it goes away. But if I go back to my sound effect page here, I'll push a button. Watch, you can watch this. On the stream deck, it, it basically hit the letter M on the stream deck to produce that sound. So... I don't know how much there is really for me to explain about this. I, the software, it does cost money. You do have to purchase it, but it's definitely worth it. They provide updates. It's pretty robust. Uh, just dream with me here for a second. How, how could you use this on live streams, on recorded videos? There's a lot of different ways. And even if you curse, you say, oh, is that the right effect for that? Probably not. We're here in Northern California. You gotta have a cable car in there. I obviously do a lot of sports coverage on my other channel, so, I mean, how could you not have the organ, right? Little Go Sharks. Let's go, Sharks. Hmm. The announcer for the uh, Oakland A's back in the day provided this for me. Leading off for the athletics and playing second base, number six, Brody, Brazil. You could just do ambient backgrounds, like enjoy this one for a second. Now the volume's not high on this, so I should have probably boosted it, but you can hear those birds chirping. Or you could just go uh, straight to hockey practice. And then I can add in my own slap shots and crossbars. And by the way, you can see as I'm triggering them how they're playing right there. Slap shot, there it is. Crossbar. And how about a hockey stop? Shh, ready? There we go. Hmm, anything else I have here? Let me fade all of this out and give you some... Always gets me. Want to add some rain to that? And think about all wh why I have these in there. There's always a conversation, especially this time of year, to be talking about rain. That thunder is legit. Or let's say I, I say a joke and it just doesn't hit. 
Then that happens. I also have the pre and post game themes or the, the sports team anthem themes. This is for the San Jose Sharks. Or baseball on NBC Sports. See, like that one, the volume for me seems a little bit loud. So you can actually go in here and I can bring it down or I can bring it up. And there's a bunch of other features in here that um, I should point out to you. Can, you can obviously change the color here. That's a simple labeling thing. You can put in some notes. I don't have time for that, but two different volumes. You can have them fade in, fade out. You can do basic editing here, just the start and the end of each clip. So you don't even have to pre-edit it. I will say that on Farago, if you want it to be a certain volume, it's better to boost it up and then bring it down as opposed to boosting here. You can't really boost over 100%. You can't amplify it. You can loop a track. You can solo a track. Like when I play it, everything else cancels out. Uh, you can allow pausing of the clip. So when I'm starting and stopping, the way I have it set up is uh, once I play the clip, like B, if I, if I stop it, it'll reset, right? To the beginning. Maybe that one's not a good example, but like here's F, right? It's the pause button, right? But if I hit it again, it just starts right from the beginning. It doesn't pause. You can allow pausing. Or you can do it where it only plays while you're pressed. Uh, like, what would be a good example of that? Uh, let me find one here. Like, uh, the modem, Y. Okay, so let's go up to Y. Let me do it. So it only play. Oh, man. Oh, man. That noise just ugh, still. Anyway, it also lets you play different sounds uh, across different devices. You can literally have um, uh, one thing playing through one output, like virtually versus a second output. I, I guess I should have also shown you this. Uh, the way my uh, computer is set up here is that everything goes through the Universal Audio Apollo Twin X. So they're all playing out of this soundboard uh, virtual channel, which is channel five and six. And so when I go back here to Virago, there's the rain. There it is on the on the uh, the soundboard channel versus my Mac. The computer has a totally different virtual input that it's using. Just thought I'd show you that. But it, it has, Farago has that, that flexibility to be able to control it. So, uh, yeah, bottom line is, like, I, I really think that Farago is, a, is the best soundboard uh, that's out there in terms of compatibility, controllability for uh, recording a video, for live streaming. That's primarily where I use it for live streaming. I can quickly navigate things. I can do hotkeys. I can do pretty much everything with Farago. Highly recommend it. So check it out and uh, check out this channel. Subscribe to it. I would really appreciate that. Thanks for being here. I've got lots more great stuff coming your way. And thumbs up on this video if it actually provided you with some value. See you next time.